Hey guys, today I made my own horse obstacle course. I'm gonna use this to work a young horse and practice steering and leading and some desensitizing. So I'm gonna show you the obstacles I've created and then we'll get the horse and get started. We have a New Year's resolution to get 500 subscribers before June 1st. So please subscribe to our channel and like this video for more weekly horse videos. Alright, so we start out with just some zigzag pulls. This is to help steer the horse and also um, to help the horse control its feet more. And then we go to a tire, and I'm just going to use this as a desensitizer, really just getting the horse to step into it, see if they're comfortable. Then I have these double barrels that are going to act like a narrow gate, and just getting the horse to walk through it as if it was a trailer, or just a narrow space, because horses can be claustrophobic. Then I have this barrel here, I'm just going to use this to steer around and have some fun, nothing really special. I have the tarp just to act as like a water obstacle and getting the horse used to the sound of the rustling of the tarp when they step on it. Same thing with this kiddie pool here. Horses are really nervous about their feet sometimes so my goal is to just get this horse used to having its feet messed with and um, stepping in things they're not used to. I have the trot poles here. This is just a fun thing to practice steering and getting the horse to trot with me when I want to trot, stop when I want to stop. And then I have a hula hoop. My goal with the hula hoop is actually desensitizing, getting the horse to put its head through the hula hoop and just kind of rub it all over the horse's body and see how they react. Then I have this cone pattern here. It's um, to practice backing the horse and doing a turn on the forehand or haunches, whatever you want to do. So you'll see that later in the video. We'll practice this maneuver. Then I just have some cones set up here for um, bending through them and I'm just gonna work on getting the horse to trot next to me and lead well and not run ahead of me or drag behind me. Okay so this is Rose, you've seen her in another video, she is two and a half years old. She's a brave little pony so I don't think we're gonna have much issues today um, but I'm just getting her used to being worked with and just coming across new things and seeing how she's gonna react. Alright so we'll start with the zigzag. I'm just working on controlling her feet. I want to be able to control the movement of her feet and have her respond when I ask her to do something different. So this is a great exercise for her. I'm going to go over to the tire. So in the beginning she was a little hesitant about the tire so I did a lot of work with her and I got her to step into it and then back out. So I'm, I'm fine with that for now. I don't want to walk her all the way through it. I just thought that was a good exercise. It's great for teaching your horse to step in and out of a trailer. And then we're gonna go through these narrow barrels here. And I've been working with her going through gates because she tended to run through them, but this was a great reaction from her. So I made it, I, I made it more narrow to challenge her. And this is great because it's also gonna mimic like stirrups hitting her on the side or like brushes hitting her on the side if you're out in a field of tall grass. So she reacted great. We're gonna steer around the barrel. Then we're gonna go to the tarp. And she's also worked with the tarp a lot, so it's no big deal for her. She walks right over it. Then we're gonna go to the kiddie pool, which is a little bit more intimidating. Same thing with the tire, just stepping in, stepping out of it. Uh, she did great with this. And it made a weird sound when she walked on it, so you can see she was kind of hesitant to go forward, but overall she did great. And it was dragging on the ground behind her, so I was impressed with her. Then we go through the trap poles. This is great because it helps you practice leading and getting the horse to respond quickly when I say to trot and then to stop. She stops really well here. Then I'm just kind of messing around with the hula hoop. I'm going to get her to step in and step out and then I'm going to just rub it all over her body. She was a little lucky at this at first, like she was unsure of it. So I'm just desensitizing her to it, putting it over her head. You can tell she was like, what the heck? So I did that a few times and she quickly adapted and figured it wasn't anything to be too afraid of. So she's great. Like I said, she's only two and a half, so she's doing great. She's very uh, brave and confident, so I look forward to getting on her soon. And then we just work on this. As you can see, this is where you can back up and do a turn on the forehand or a haunches and then back them up again. She's a little stuck in her back end there. <laughs> 
So I'm just going to work on that. Then we go forward on a trot. And we're going to zig and zag through these poles, or the cones. So she did great. Something about her is that when I first started working with her, she'd like to take off and drag you. So this is great for her. It's a great experience to get her to lean next to me and not get too fast or too forward. So I was impressed. All in all, I think Rose did a great job. She seemed like she was a pro at a lot of these obstacles that she's never even seen before. So good job to you, Rose. You did so good. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Thanks for watching, guys. And once again, remember that we're trying to get 500 subscribers before June 1st. So please subscribe to our channel and like this video.